This is Paul Waring. He's an 18-year-old from the English seaside town of Felixstowe in the county of Suffolk. Like many youngsters of his age, Paul has got big hopes and dreams for the future. The talented teenager is the reigning English and European deaf golf champion, and in the coming years, the scratch golfer is aiming to join the ranks of the professionals. Transworld Sport was keen to find out more about Paul. I want to have a successful amateur career and then turn pro and play on the European tour. My ultimate ambition is to play in and to win the Masters. Paul was born profoundly deaf. He began playing golf at the age of 12, encouraged to do so by his father, Steve. Golf is a sport that is challenging at the best of times, but Paul faces additional obstacles every time he steps out onto the course. When I hit the ball, I can't hear the sound of the strike. I can't hear if it was a good or bad contact. I have to rely on the feeling of the strike. In the UK, over 10 million people are affected by some form of hearing loss, and there are over 45,000 deaf children, of which more than half were born deaf, like Paul. Obviously, initially, it was a great shock to us because the, there's no history of deafness in the family. There's no reason why he was born deaf. It was just one of those things. That, so after the initial shock, it was um, just learning to get on with life. And, and he's been quite strong with it. He's not let things really worry him. And, and we've been the same, you know. You just get on with you know, the hand you've been dealt and, and just do the best you can. As well as his individual European title, Paul also helped England win the team event at last year's championships in Finland. His progress in the sport has been overseen by a team of coaches at the Felixstowe Ferry Club, one of whom is Trevor Mason. Well, I think once he got into the county squad, he showed his potential there amongst his peers, all his able-bodied peers, and uh, he was outstanding at that age and as he's uh, got older, he's improved and improved, and uh, so he's been showing potential since the age of 14 or thereabouts. Surprisingly, there is no category for deaf athletes at the Paralympics, with the pinnacle for many being the Deaf Olympics. Therefore, neither UK Deaf Sport nor the English Deaf Golf Association currently receive funding from the British government to develop talented individuals. Paul's only really got involved in the deaf sport in the last 18 months or so, uh, maybe two years. Um, and the England Deaf Golf is good, they're um, a good, good group of guys there and um, do well with them. But unless you actually go looking for um, a deaf sporting activity, you know, it doesn't jump out at you, you have to go and find it really, I think. So perhaps more awareness would be, uh, would be better. British golfing legend Tony Jacklin, who has himself been struggling with hearing loss over the past 25 years, is one of the patrons of the English Deaf Golf Association. Jacklin has high praise for Paul, who competes in both deaf golf events and regular tournaments. I would suspect the most difficult thing, uh, and I know it is for me, is that people all assume you can hear. And unless you explain, prior to playing, understand that I'm hard of hearing. If you speak from me, to me from behind you, I can't hear you. And in Paul's case, you know, dealing with all of that and not having people think you're ignorant because you haven't answered them because you've never heard the question in the first place. Uh, I suspect that's one of the hardest things he has to do to contend with. But uh, as a golfer, he has my utmost admiration and his results are 
fantastic and long may it uh, be so. High profile names like Tony Jacklin raise awareness, but it's young players like Paul Waring who can help change perceptions about deaf golf and deaf sport in general.